Hi, this is Julie Waldorf with juliewaldorf.com and I have Kylie Hatch here who is um, talking to the investors group um, about uh, lead-based paint and carbon monoxide and the update of what's going on. What's going on with it? Well, Julia, um, recently the legislature passed a few new laws um, concerning carbon monoxide detectors and that's mainly a California-based law. Mm -hmm. um, so now it's required in every residential unit. Mm -hmm. um, came into effect on, I want to say July 1st, so right. um, it's part of the Carbon Monoxide Poisoning Prevention Act um, of 2010, SB 183, mm -hmm. um, so it requires anybody that owns a home, a landlord, apartments, anything that's a, uh, got people living in it, that you have to have these installed. Um, as long as, if there's a fossil fuel, fossil fuel burning um, appliance in the house. So anything, okay. if there's natural gas, you're you going to have to have one installed. in there. And where do you have to have it installed? Did, by um, the bedrooms or what? Basically you should have one in each of the bedrooms or nearby, like mm -hmm. if it's down a hallway near where all of them can hear it. Okay. Um, it should be there and it should be near the source. Um, like if you have a wall heater, uh -huh. it, um, probably near the wall heater or if you have an inside water heater, mm -hmm. it should be installed within a distance of that because those are going to be your main sources of any carbon, monoc or carbon monoxide poisoning that may occur. Great. Um, big thing is it's a $200 fine. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't if have you it when do you not, sell? If or you do not have it when you rent? sell. Okay. As well as if you get inspected for rental. Okay. So all rental properties, even if you are not selling it, need to have one installed now. Yeah. So that is uh, mandatory. Well, it's safety for the public. They're only like 20 bucks at Kmart and yep. uh, or wherever, Walmart, Kmart, some other Mart thing. The one thing and is to to put a notice out, and I've had recommendations, is not to buy the carbon monoxide smoke detector combo ones. Okay, um, why not? to reduce two separate ones because the, they interfere, like the detectors are separate. Okay. The type of material that affect them. Okay. And so you should use two separate um, monitors for that. Okay. So they don't interfere with each other in case one causes the other one to go bad. Um, then you got lead-based paint. Okay, our what's, next that, big what's subject, going on with which, the lead-based paint? Um, well, you know, our wonderful EPA, they're very strict mm. and uh, everybody's trying to figure out how to make money, in my opinion, on it right okay, now. Okay, well. So, uh, they've enacted <laughs> a new law All right. uh, that requires any home built before 1978, mm -hmm. you have to have a certified lead-based paint contractor do the work. If there is any work that it. has to be done? Yes. Okay. Anything removing, a, if it's interior, it's mm -hmm. six square feet total. Okay. The space, if it's exterior, it's 24 square feet. Well, could you just get the work done, do the work yourself prior to even listing the house or selling nope. it or renting it? If you do, you still have to meet the same guidelines. So well, that's you using non-lead-based non paint, isn't it? Well, that's the guideline. But if your house has lead-based paint, if it was built before 1978, you have to either follow the regulations or you have to have it tested. Well, what's Just the regulations on it? Regulation is anything before 78. You paint over it. You have to paint over it if yeah. it's chipping, mm -hmm. but you have to be certified to do it now. Okay, so prior to listing or renting your property, if it's built before 1978, you have to work on the property and make it, if, it, if there's lead-based paint, just paint just paint your place. You gotta paint your place, is really the bottom line, and keep it from peeling paint, and then decide to rent or um, sell your property, and you're okay. You don't get gouged to death by these inspector fees and all that crap, and you're legal, well, and everybody's somewhat. safe, and, you're, and then everybody's safe. But you, you can't even replace a door in your house if it contains lead-based paint, or a window. If it contains lead-based paint on it, and you replace it, you have to follow the guidelines because it, over, it oh, goes over the size limit of what's allowed. So where else can they get more details about these guidelines? You can go to epa.gov okay. forward slash lead. Okay. And there's a bunch of publications on it. And uh, just so you know, it's a $37,500 fine every day <laughs> that you are in violation. Oh, the schmoolies. And this is what, selling your property? We want this your money? This is anytime. We you want are, your equity? <laughs> this is anytime we don't want you selling doing. your house. <laughs> Okay, so, all right, well, thanks for the news. You're welcome. <laughs> anyway, how, Kylie, how do we get a hold of you? Because you're a hotshot commercial guy, aren't you? Uh, you can get a hold of me at 805-616-5398 or kylie at corinthiancapitalpartners.com. All right, thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Julia. Julia Waldorf, juliewaldorf.com.